As soon as we left the hotel, the very first thing that happened, traffic. And because it was right before a quarantine during rush hour, we had to try to get out of town as fast as possible, but um, it was just thick, thick traffic. So our strategy was to ride like the locals and the locals ride their motorcycles between the trucks, maybe like they do in Southern California. The issue is my motorcycle is easily twice as big as most of the motorcycles here in South America. It's almost as big as some of the cars down here. And so I was just constantly trying not to get my panniers smashed off by a truck or hit my mirror on a mirror of a truck. And immediately leaving the hotel, we were just hot and exhausted. It was just no fun at all. Once we were out of the traffic, we started getting into the construction zones. And so then it was traffic and off-road dirt, gravel, trucks, motorcycles riding around us, people driving. You know, the rules here sort of go out the window. The, the rule is survival of the fittest. And so not only were we tired and hot, now we were facing even more obstacles as we were just trying to get on our way to Hardin. We just stopped here alongside the road to get some drone footage and uh, so far this has been oh my gosh so much traffic so, so much, much traffic it's hot today but the jungle here is really amazing as soon as we got outside the city we got all kinds of really cool plants and stuff stopped for uh, just to get some water but the food looks so darn good that we decided to eat uh, a meal here at this little local restaurant. Uh, I'm hungry I didn't realize it. After we stopped for lunch, uh, the road turned out to be pretty amazing. There were really nice soft corners with green hills and mountains that were just majestic. And you know, we I think we hit maybe one or two little patches of construction, but other than that, it was just a really wonderful ride into Hardin. As we zipped through town, we were excited to get to the hotel, but there was uh, a problem 
with our GPS coordinates that we got from booking.com. So I wasn't really sure where to go. So the very first uh, GPS coordinates was this turn. It was exactly at this turn. And so we decided to just try it out. Maybe the hotel was at the end of this dirt path. We ended up riding down somebody's driveway and into their house. And so right into the front of their house. Luckily they weren't home, so they weren't upset with us being there, but we realized that the directions that we had weren't right. This is not it. <laughs> All right, well, that wasn't such a big deal. Um, we got to see this really amazing road and what a house that was. So we went back up the driveway and we had separate coordinates. So this was a, a separate uh, location that we got on booking.com and figured, okay, this is gonna be it. We rode down the road and took a left turn into yet another driveway and ended up again at somebody's house. Fortunately, these people were incredibly nice and they gave us some pointers and told us to head back into town where they thought the hotel might be. Okay. Let's try it and see. Well, that wasn't it either. And so we decided to head back out of town and just to drive to a four kilometer mark. Okay, cool. I have four kilometers on here. We'll just see if we see a sign. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember. We were zipping along, we didn't see anything, and then I noticed that Eileen wasn't even with me, and so I turned around and headed back the way I came, and lo and behold, we finally found the hotel. I didn't see this sign at all. Oh man, uh, we had a little bit of a mix up on uh, booking.com, the GPS coordinates were not right, and on Google Maps, it wasn't right and on uh, booking maps it wasn't right and on apple maps it wasn't right and so we just went searching to try to find this and eileen stopped to ask somebody if they knew where it was and they said oh we're waiting for you this is the hotel I saw this is a it couple of guys and hey, hey please where is cantarana here oh <laughs> yeah so we're a little bit late from quarantine but we made it Es una araña? Why don't even know what the thing is? I know! What is this thing? ¿Qué es eso? It's huge. It, it can fly. It can fly. Eh, oye, si la tapas mejor. Eh, pero Mark, si la tocas, va a volar. What? If you touch it, it's gonna fly. I'm not gonna touch it. Oh, my Dios. Oh, my Dios. Ah. Ah. Out, 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 out. Oh. Oh, 
I knew we needed the poles. <laughs> Today we're hiking in Jardin. It's a garden and it's really beautiful. It rained last night. There's a river here and um, we're going to go into town and see all the sights. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, where is the drone? Got a serious drone issue going on right now. Eileen's controller is totally locked and we don't know where her drone is. Oh, I see it. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Oh, it's in the tree. It's right above this tree. Left, left, left. There it is. Stop, stop, stop. Come down. Come down. Down. Oh, here it is. Oh. We walked into town and now we're headed to the main square, Libertadores. We're in the main square of Jardin. It's really awesome. And we've been told that the coffee here is spectacular, so we're going to try it out. Oh, yes, cinnamon. Mm. Amazing, amazing, amazing place. Amazing coffee. This is the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception and it is a spectacular cathedral. And uh, there are people worshiping here. And so I'm just gonna let you have a look. Now we're on a bridge. It's pretty awesome, but uh, beneath us here on the other side, that uh, is pretty awesome. We're gonna go down there, give it a look. Hopefully there's a bunch of birds down there. This morning we're leaving the beautiful town of Jardin and we're going to Manizales where we're going to be able to do some work for a couple days. We've got to update the blogs, update the videos. Yeah. So we need um, some Wi-Fi and desks and things like that. So we're leaving the paradise and headed back to the city.
repairs my rear tire has a leak um, so normally 42 is the normal tire pressure 41 around there this morning it was at 19 and it's been sitting for two days so it probably has a tiny little leak and it's coming out so I was able to refill it no problem I've got an air compressor but uh, it looks like today we're just going to, have to take uh, just keep an eye on it and probably have to refill a couple times when we get to Manizales uh, we'll see if we can get it fixed and if it's not too bad we'll just make it all the way bound down to Cali babysitting it Um, it looks like this route is a dirt road and mud. I didn't know. I didn't either. You want to go the long way? What do you want? I don't have problems with I don't know what is... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about my tire. Right now it's good, but I don't, I would hate to get stuck. So, yeah, sorry. The first part of the day was absolutely amazing. Just green hills and valleys and rivers and winding roads. Everything was pretty fantastic. After a couple of hours, I noticed that my tire pressure had dropped again, so we had to pull over so I could refill my back tire. Right after I filled up my back tire, we hit construction and we stopped at a roadblock. We were going to stop at a roadblock, but a, a local rider on a BMW waved me on and said, just follow us. And so we did. And uh, we probably saved ourselves quite a lot of time, maybe a few hours, but it was frightening and incredibly dangerous. We were driving opposite traffic. We were having to dive off the road to avoid being hit by big semi trucks. We were riding on loose gravel and dirt and dodging local motorcycles and cars and just everything imaginable. It was a really, really exhausting and dangerous drive, and eventually we got out of it. We are alive. We are alive. No truck hit us. And we gotta go off road. <laughs> We've stopped here so we can get some drone footage. There's a, a river right over there that's pretty spectacular. So Eileen's gonna fly her drone over and take a look at this. Finally, we were back in the green, beautiful part of Colombia, outside of traffic, outside of all the trucks, and it was just a wonderful, wonderful ride that last hour or so into Manizales.
We are in Manizales, Colombia, and this is a sort of a special fun city for me because a couple of crazy things have happened here in the past. The first time I was here, it was in 2016, and there were protests and all kinds of crazy things going on on the Pan American Highway, and I was working with a bunch of people to try to get out of Colombia. The highway was on fire, literally. There were soldiers all over the place. There were uh, crazy things happening. I made a video about it in 2016. I'll put a link right here so you can see that video from a long time ago. And also once I was here and I thought my appendix were gonna burst open and so I had to be rushed to the hospital. Um, that turned out to be not the case and it was quite a hilarious story. I hope we can tell that story in the next episode because the person that helped me, her name is Laura, lives in Cali, that's where we're going next. And you can hear about the very first girl who ever heard me naked. That's right, a lot of you have People have seen you naked for the first time. This is the first person ever heard me naked. So hopefully I can tell that story next time uh, with the person that actually heard me naked, which is sort of crazy. Anyway, we're in Manizales, we're working, and tomorrow morning we go to Cali to see some really cool friends of Eileen. So all right, that's it.